Hi there, this is Wirt from Austria. Today I want to show you the Kerberos MIDI interface and flash cartridge. This is a card that plugs into your Commodore 64 or 128. It provides you uh, flash memory. You can transfer programs directly to flash or you can use it to transfer disk images to a real disk by using only a MIDI cable or you can transfer easy flash compatible images into the flash memory. I want to show you the program synth card which has been rewritten for this cartridge to take advantage of all the MIDI functions. Ok, let's do this. So this runs equally on 128 and 64. On 128 with special applications you can take advantage even of the 2 MHz speed of the processor. This is a better menu, so I'm starting the program, synth card. Synth card is basically an application to play live sound on the synth chip by using the keys ranging from Q to arrow up. F keys are octave. You can play 80s style synth bass lines. You have 21 patches stored to these keys here. For example, on G is a pulse sound in a monophonic fashion. New with this version. Uh, FX parameters, you can have five different filter modulations, filter 5 is it called, here is a filter cutoff display, filter 5 is a very fast modulation. Filter 4 is a bit slower, filter 2 is quite slowish. And filter 1 is even slower. A classic saw sound here. Moog ish. A triangle sound. With pulse sounds, you can modulate the pulse width with automatically like when you go on filter stack one is a pulse sound and you choose pulse one quite slow pulse two is a, is a classic bandaglish sound the filter somehow makes it quite thin so with using the keys Commodore until K you can modulate the filter directly that means I have the sound here so if you don't have any knobs you can use the keys you can change on the keyboard the attack rate and the release rate. The attack rate is here with shift and ASD. D is slow attack. Control, A fast release, S slow release, D very slow. And then you can change of these 21 patches you have here. 
the slash key is a mute. These 21 patches you can change to your needs when you say you have this, this pulse sound. But you change the playing mode of it, then you change with control, change it to a polyphonic sound. Or change it to a fifth. Use the space bar for whammy. Change it to a fifth portamento. Change it to a monophonic. Change it to arpeggio, and this is new. Every key you're playing is added to the arpeggio. And there are also slower arpeggios. Arpeggio 2 is slower. Arpeggio 3 is the slowest. You can use the octave keys to do it. Also, you can shift different portamento modes. And these you can use with the octave keys. If you're lost, you can press return for the help menu. There are several functions like video style, video size, mode, I will not explain all of these. With a pedal controller in port 2 you can also change pulse modulation and filter. You can edit one sound and save it to RAM by pressing run stop and F1. And you have to have a bit of an idea about the C-chip to use this. What is new is the MIDI mode. And I'm using an Atoya beat step to control synth card. So... These buttons can be used to control the continuous controllers. So like continuous controller 1 is filter cutoff. With continuous controller 2 I can change the mode. I can change poly, lift, portamento. can be changed on the fly so if you use a sequencer on your PC door and draw these parameters in you can do a lot of stuff. On the third knob, continuous control 3 we have the effects. We have here all the effects like I showed you previously on the keyboard. On continuous controller 4 we can change the attack and now we are more varied than 058. We have here 9 values. Zero attack, four attack, six attack, seven attack, nine slow attack. Release, nine, six, four, zero. On continuous control number six, we have the pulse width. And here we can change waveforms without entering the edit menu. So all waveforms of all oscillators. <laughs> On 
number 14 we can change the waveform of the second voice so this means each second note in the three sequence is played with a different oscillator and the number 15 we can change the third voice but also you can play MIDI and keyboard additionally And this thing can be also used as a sequencer. That's it.